Welcome to another beautiful day here at Mills Motors, located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. Today we're having a look at the 2017 Yukon Denali four-wheel drive, shown here in the gorgeous onyx black. And under the hood you'll find an Ecotec 3 6.2 liter direct injected V8 engine with 8-speed automatic transmission. Going to take a look at the inside of the vehicle now, but before I do, I just wanted to show you the automatic running boards that this vehicle has. So if I open this door, those automatic running boards will pop out. Uh, they reach the front and the back seats, and when I close this door, eventually they will pop back underneath the vehicle. Uh, so the inside of this vehicle, the upholstery is all leather. It's a beautiful interior, of course, as this is the Denali trim. Down here, you have the power, uh, the controls, I should say, for the power adjustable driver's seat, including lumbar support. And over here you have the Bose premium speakers, which allow for great sound quality when listening to your music inside the vehicle. Just above that, you have the preferences for seat and mirror memory. I'm going to step inside now to show you all the cool features this vehicle has. We'll start here at the uh, color IntelliLink touchscreen. So this vehicle has, as you can see, time and temperature display. This vehicle does have a Wi-Fi hotspot. It is also equipped with AM, FM, and XM radio. You can switch through those radio sources using this button down here. You can tune to whatever station you want. You can browse through the available stations. Uh, as well, you can set favorite radio stations down at the bottom here to access them quickly. If you want to get back to that main screen with all the options displayed, you want to hit this home button down here. So you can also connect your mobile device to the vehicle to take advantage of hands-free calling or SMS text messaging. As well, this vehicle is compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as you can see through that projection icon right there. As well, this vehicle does have a built-in navigation system. So by clicking that icon, a map pops up. You can see where you are. You can also input a destination to help uh, get directions to where you're going. Uh, uh, this vehicle does have a DVD player, which I'll show you a little later on. So if the people in the back wanna watch a quick movie during the trip, you can also access traffic in your area to help uh, move your trip along quickly. So we're going to take a look at the, uh, the options down from that. This button here will turn on and off the stereo system. The dial will control the volume. Uh, this dial here will help you navigate the menu and the, the button on top will help you select anything you land on. Uh, this button here is pretty funky. So if you click it once, the screen actually turns off and lifts up, which exposes lots of storage space in behind it, as well as a USB port. Uh, so that's pretty cool some hidden storage space if you want the screen to come back down and turn back on all you have to do is hit is hit that button one more time and there we go it's back on and uh completely fine so below that is where you can insert a dvd again if you uh, want to watch a movie during your trip then we have all the climate controls so this vehicle actually has tri-zone climate control so this dial will control the driver's seat temperature this one will control the passenger seat temperature and you can actually control the rear climate from the front seats here so you can set them all to the same temperature different temperatures uh, whatever is most comfortable for everyone in the vehicle this button here will turn on and off the climate control this uh, dial will control the fan speed for the people in the front fan speed for the people in the back is right here um you have also have front and rear window defrost air conditioning of course also a pretty cool feature this vehicle um for the front two passengers you can have a heated or cooled seat if you wish which is very nice no matter, so no matter what the temperature is like outside you can get in and uh, be sure to be comfortable either way and uh, be behind that i should say sorry um there's lots of storage space so if you open this one up you have some storage space as well as an auxiliary power outlet and two usb ports this one will open up to expose two cup holders. We then get to this very nice leather wrap center armrest with the wireless charging pad on top if you have a compatible mobile device. Opening that up, so much storage space down below here. Also over here you have two more USB ports and an auxiliary input. Some storage space here as well as another auxiliary power outlet. If we look directly up from there, we have this beautiful power tilt and sliding sunroof to let in some fresh air, some sunlight. However, if it is a little too sunny, you can simply pull the shade across to block out some of that sunlight. That sunroof is controlled by these two controls right here. So you have one for slide, one for tilt. Uh, right beside that is the programmable power lift gate. So you can set it to open all the way, three quarters of the way, or turn the feature off completely. And to actually open the trunk, all you have to do is hit that button. Below all that, there are three garage door openers. And above all that, uh, you actually have this button here to turn on and off motion sensors uh, as this vehicle is equipped with an enhanced safety package. 
I just want to point out that this vehicle is push start ignition, which is quite nice. You don't have to worry about fumbling with your keys. You can simply get inside the vehicle, push, uh, put your foot on the brake and push that button. The vehicle will get started up for you. Taking a look at the right hand side of the steering wheel now, this circle of buttons will control the driver information center, which is the screen right in front of the driver there. So you can flip through different information about the trip or the vehicle itself. Uh, so fuel range, oil life, tire pressure. You can also control the audio settings. You can flip uh, through different radio stations, different songs. Um, so basically the driver has control of everything with that circle of buttons there. Uh, these two buttons here are for hands-free communication. Just behind here where my fingers are, there are two buttons and those will control the audio volume. Over to the left hand side, you have all these buttons for cruise control. It is actually adaptive cruise control as this vehicle is equi equipped with forward collision warning. Down below that, there's an option for a heated steering wheel. And once again, behind here where my fingers are, there are, there are buttons which will help you switch through those favorite radio stations if you have them set. Over here, you have a lot of fancy buttons. So we have the controls for the interior lights, exterior lights, four wheel drive options. You have your trailer brake. Over here, you have uh, traction control, park assist. This vehicle is equipped with front and rear park assist. Uh, you also have uh, the button to turn off those automatic running boards that I showed you a little earlier. Uh, you also have the button for forward collision, uh, sorry, not forward collision, lane keep assist, uh, which is another safety feature. This button here is for the power adjustable pedals, so moving the pedals closer to or further away from the driver. This vehicle is also equipped with heads up display, which is super cool, but pretty difficult to show on camera. So I'll just explain it. So essentially it shows you information like the speedometer right on the glass in front of the driver. So you don't have to take your eyes off the road at all. You can see it right there on the glass, which is pretty cool. Uh, so this button here will adjust how high it is. Um, this button here will adjust what information is shown on the display. And this one here will adjust uh, the brightness of the display. And so we'll finish it off here with some basic controls on the driver's side door. You have your child safety locks, window locks, power windows, uh, power mirrors, inclu including power folding mirrors. And up there beside the handle, you have your power lock and unlock. As I make my way to the back of the vehicle here, just wanted to point out those awesome 22 inch ultra bright aluminum wheels. Coming around the corner now, lined along the rear of the vehicle are ultrasonic parking sensors, which will alert the driver uh, if the vehicle is getting too close to anything while in reverse. So I'm going to open up this trunk now. Uh, there's a couple ways to do that. So uh, first of all, you can use uh, the button located just underneath uh, the handle there, or there are some trunk release buttons located right here on the key fob. Uh, so this one here, when the vehicle is unlocked and you hit it twice, it actually only opens the screen portion, so you can have easy access to the items in the trunk here. If you do want to open the entire trunk, uh, there was another button on the key fob. Uh, so this one here, once again, uh, once it's unlocked, click it twice and the entire trunk will open up. Uh, the coolest way to do it, in my opinion, is to kick under here. It has the hands-free lift gate. So all you have to do is kick underneath that rear bumper and the trunk will open by itself, which is very cool, especially if your hands are full. Taking a look inside the trunk space here, you have some storage space underneath uh, that little floor there. You also have some hooks on the right and left hand side of the trunk if you want to secure a net or rope uh, to make sure the items back here don't move around too much during the trip. Also over here, you have an auxiliary power outlet. Just above that are some buttons to control both the second and third row of seating to give you even more storage space. So folding the seats down to give you more room for items back here. So I'll show you how to do that. These two seats will control the, uh, sorry, these two buttons will control the third row of seating. These two will control the second row of seating. So if I click down on both of these seats, this third row of seating will fold forward. If I then click down on these two buttons, the second row of seating will for fold forward. If I click down again on this, uh, the same buttons, they'll actually flip up and sit against uh, those first seats there. And then I can adjust these so they move down a little further. Now, as you can see, uh, it just gives you so much more storage space back here. It's pretty ridiculous the amount of, uh, ridiculous the amount of items you could put back here. Uh, if you wanna get that third row of seating back up, you can actually click the up arrows this time press and hold those and they will uh, resume their normal position there. So to close this trunk, uh, you can use a button or the handle located right up here on the right hand side. There's the handle, there's the button. Or once again, you can use the hands-free lift gate. All you have to do once again is kick underneath the rear bumper. It will alert you that the, uh, the trunk is closing so it doesn't close on anyone's head. And then once again, the trunk will close itself. 
going to take a look now at the back seat area of this vehicle. We'll start here at the rear passenger side door. You have lots of storage space towards the bottom there, wood grain trim. You have the power window controls back here, as well as a nice little cup holder here. So as you saw earlier in this video, the second row of seating can fold flat and then uh, flip up to sit against those front row of seats. Uh, I did it using a button in the trunk of the vehicle, but you can actually use uh, a button located just here. So if you just want to let people into the third row and you don't want to open up this trunk, you can use this uh, handy button. So again, if I press that button once, the seat will fold flat. If I press that same button once again, it will flip up to sit against uh, that passenger seat there. If I want to get back to uh, its normal position, click it down and then wait till it clicks uh, back into place there. So let's take a step inside now, show you around back here a little more. So you have some uh, storage space located behind both the passenger seat and the driver's seat as well. Behind the center console, you have a power outlet, an auxiliary power outlet. You have some, um, some uh, controls for the, the climate, so fan speed, temperature. You also have an option for heated seats for the second row of seating here, which is very nice. Uh, down below here, you have some more storage space. And above that, as I mentioned earlier, this vehicle does have a DVD player. So for those long drives, you don't have to worry about the are we there yet questions. Uh, so if you click this button here, the screen will fold down. And uh, this DVD system does come with two wireless headsets. Um, flipping that back up, uh, there are, so you can see there are two captain chairs in the second row. And then uh, you can see that third row seating is a split bench seat. Over here, you have a nice little cup holder, lots of leg room for these three people in the back here. Uh, two cup holders over there, as well as another auxiliary power outlet. So there you have the 2017 Yukon Denali four-wheel drive in the gorgeous onyx black. Obviously, lots of notable features. Uh, as well, this vehicle is equipped with the safety and connectivity of OnStar. It also has its own 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. If you'd like to give this vehicle a test drive, come on down to Mills Motors, located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa, where we will always do whatever it takes.